Number 21 says a 549 kilogram satellite is in a circular orbit about the Earth at a height above Earth equal to Earth's mean radius. So find the satellite's orbital speed, find the period of its revolution, and find the gravitational force acting on it. So what we have to do is we have to know a few things. The mass of the satellite, so the mass, we'll call it mass 1, equals 549, 549 kilograms. The Earth's mean radius, so the radius of the Earth, is equal to um, 6371000, so 6,371,000 meters. And so it says that this thing is, is orbiting the Earth at a height above Earth equal to Earth's mean radius. So what it's saying is we have Earth, that's Earth's average radius, and then this thing is above that the Earth, the same height, right there. And so the orbital, the, the orbital radius is two times Earth's mean radius. Uh, so the orbital radius of the satellite. So we, we can say that H equals 6371. Zero, zero, zero. And so the radius of orbit is, is Re plus H. Okay, and then the, the other thing that we know is the mass of the Earth we, from, from a previous question, so we'll call it Me. The mass of the Earth is equal to 5.972 times 10 to the 24th. And the gravitational constant is equal to 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11th. So the way I worked this problem was I did it in the complete reverse order of, of how it's asked. The first I, I did C first, which is find the gravitational force acting on this satellite. So, uh, and actually, you can either do B or C first, but you have to do those two first before you can do A. So let's just start with C, and we'll, we'll go backwards. And so we got a, we've got a problem where we've got to find the force of something uh, due to gravity. So we've got to use G times M1, M2, over R squared equals the force. And so G is, again, 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11th. And we're just going to continue to call it G for the time being. M1 was 549, 549 kilograms. M2, the mass of the Earth, is 5.972 times 10 to the 24th. And the radius uh, was um, 12,742,000. And we got to take that quantity and square it. So just plug that into your calculator, and you should get, you should get 1,000. 347.53 newtons and that's part that's the answer to C okay so now you go to B and it says find its period of revolution so this is saying it, it wants to find T the period of revolution is T and so we can use Kepler's third law since it says in the problem that it's a circular orbit Kepler's third law equation Kepler's third law works for any orbit Kepler, Kepler's third law equation works for circular orbits. So t squared equals 4 pi squared over g times, and of course, uh, just to explain, Kepler didn't come up with this particular equation um, because he didn't, Kepler didn't know there was a gravitational constant, but this is the equation associated with Kepler's third law when the orbital is circular. Okay, so now that that's all the way, times the mass of the Earth times r cubed. And so we just got to uh, plug in some numbers. So 4 pi squared is 30, 39.4384. And g is, of course, 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11th. The mass of the Earth was, is uh, 5.9 times 10 to the 24th. So multiply those together, you get 3.98512 times 10 to the 14th, and and then multiply that by the radius cubed, and of course we said the radius was the radius of the Earth plus the height, which was uh, one, uh, actually 12, 12 million 742 thousand meters, and you got to cube that, 
I'm sorry, that's a square. That's got to cube that value. So plug that into your calculator. And you should get that the the, the uh, t squared equals t squared equals two hundred and four billion seven hundred thirty four thousand five hundred and sixty two point nine nine and that's in seconds squared. So we got to square root that and you get that the square root the square root is equal to 14,308.55 seconds. It wants the answer in hours so we divide that by 3600 and it gives us the answer in hours. Uh, what I got was 3.9745 hours. And now we know that th what the orbital period is, we can calculate the speed. And so the speed, if you remember, the velocity equals the radius times the angular speed. And the angular speed equals the angular displacement divided by the, the time. And so we want to do time in seconds. Angular displacement is, is one revolution, which is equal to two pi radians. So two pi radians divided by the time, which we said the time was 14,308, 14,308.55, so 14,308.55. And when you divide that out, you get, you get that the, the, angular dis, the angular speed is equal to 0 0.0004388 nine eight and so then you got to multiply that times the radius so multiply that times times uh, the radius which we said was twelve million seven hundred forty two thousand so times that by twelve million seven hundred forty two thousand and you get you get the velocity is equal to five five nine two point four four meters per second and that's the units that it wants it in so that is the answer